my beautiful friends welcome to my channel this is Sabina here today's video I'm gonna share with you what I bought from Whole Food Market I am into this um, eating healthy road right now I don't eat that unhealthy food but I I would say like I don't cook that much either we do a lot of takeouts and I really need to start cooking and eating healthy so I can lose my weight if you guys don't know me then I have a baby boy who is one year old and when I was pregnant actually I did not gain that much weight I was working out and I was literally running like 28 weeks pregnant I had this big belly and I was literally running in a treadmill and I go to Orange Theory I love their workout and I was really eating healthy and out all the sugars and all the carbs and like all these things that is not good for me and I had a baby inside my belly <clears throat> so I was very um, worried about my baby not to be healthy so I was really um, like you know eating really really healthy my um, dietitian he gave me this whole chart of food that what is good for me that time and I really did not gain that much weight I was really healthy and eating good but after I had a baby my goal was to breastfeed him and when I started breastfeeding him I did not produce that much of milk because for my body I need a carb to produce milk and when I went to the lactose nurse for consultant she told me that um, if I want to breastfeed then I need to eat carbs and carbs is really my enemy I love carbs I'm from Nepal and you guys know that how much we eat rice every day and roti and you know all dumplings momo and all this delicious food and it is really not good for me and I started eating carbs and I of course I did not care about anything my weight gain because my goal was my baby and I want my baby to have um, breast milk and I did that and no regret now he's one year old and I'm going back to work out since uh, August 1st and uh, of course I did not like you know care about what I eat I make rice or chicken or momo or momo is like a dumpling <clears throat> or roti roti is like a tortillas and you know whatever is available I start eating and then definitely I gain weight and also like you know having a baby it's your life is very unpredictable that uh, you plan to go to workout but you don't know like you know your baby gonna wake up sick or the cry or clingy and doesn't want to go anywhere so it just it, it's just different life is really different and last 10 days was really hard because <clears throat> my baby was sick he was not really really sick he's teething so he's feeling very uncomfortable right now and I kept him home for 10 days and it was really cold here in Dallas so we did not go anywhere out I stayed home and did not go to work out stayed home for 10 days and just ate whatever is there like you know my husband usually bring like take out and it's not healthy so I woke up this morning and I was like enough is enough now so now it's time for me to eat healthy so I went this morning to work out it was a really good workout and I went to Whole Food Market pick up some groceries and I just want to share with you what is my healthy eating journey looks like right now so let me show you what I got I got this radishes my husband loved this and I like to have this in our salad but you know sometimes they are really good taste but sometimes not really but I don't know how it's gonna taste this time but I picked that up and I got some carrots Spar loves carrots when I steam the carrots he like to snack them and banana for Spar this English cucumber for our salad. Spar doesn't like cucumber. He is really good to eat all those green vegetables, but not cucumber. Pear, I like to add this in our salad, and also Spar likes this pear. Oh, look what I found in Whole Food. I love this bok choy. This is so good, this is my favorite. I love any kind of green vegetables. I love bok choy, so that one is that. And tonight I am planning to make um, cabbage and this uh, portobello mushrooms a uh, little bit like uh, vegetables. What is that like? You know, cabbage and portobello mushrooms. So I got this one. I love this mushrooms. 
They are so good. I got some cuties. I thought that it's good for, you know, sparring me. And some red potatoes. Spar likes. This one I put in the oven and he loved that. Oh. <laughs> I just pick up this um have you seen that um cracker and mussel they're eating in tiktok viral that going on so much and it looks so delicious so i really wanted to try i picked this corn, corn cracker but they didn't have any mussel most all the mussels were sold out i guess from the tiktok right <laughs> and i will go to the different whole food and see if they have the mussel and i will share with you guys do i like it or not and then also I picked this coconut cracker. I love coconut and it looks good. So I just picked this one and just, just like, you know, when you are hungry and you want to eat something just to have. Spar, of course he is bigger, but um, sometimes like, you know, when he's crying, I like to give him something so he can hold this one and eat this thing. This is um, sweet potato and banana. And this one is also gluten free. So I like this. You know guys uh, for the kids I will tell you that um, I am very like you know I don't give Spar any junk food I, I cooked his meal and he just ate fruit and vegetable he has not ate any artificial sugar or anything like that but of course like you know I started giving some of those things from outside because he's growing and he need to explore slowly and also there's an app called Yuka if you can download that app and you can go store and you can just scan the uh, barcode. They will tell you that is that good for you or not. So I love that I've been using and keep scanning my Yuka apps. That's really good. I also picked this um, formula for the toddler. Spar is in whole milk right now, but um, uh, this is just for like in the nighttime when me and my husband are also sleepy and he asks for milk. So we don't have to come like our bedroom is upstairs and kitchen is downstairs so we don't have to come all the way down sometimes we get lazy or when we go out like you know i need to still figuring out what kind of um milk he loves milk and when he wants to take a nap or wants to go sleep before sleep he loves his milk it, this one is just for like you know those time that if we wake up in the middle of night or when we are out and we don't have any milk so for that reason i bought um this formula for spar chicken broth i don't know what i'm gonna make this chicken broth but it is always good to have a chicken broth in your pantry and cabbies that i'm gonna make tonight dinner and also i love these for spar i have like in a whole different i saw today with the chicken and turmeric Spar doesn't like like a chunky chicken, but when I buy this thing, this this brand is really good. And um, so I buy chicken, turkey, salmon for Spar like this one. So he will eat like he will have fish, turkey, and protein from this. And also he likes boiled egg. He doesn't like scrambled egg. He doesn't like omelet. Um, I noticed that he likes boiled egg. So he is getting there. This two um, yogurt. This is the plain yogurt. Sometimes I give him a flavor yogurt, but I look into that flavor yogurt ingredients and sugar, how much sugar, it has so much sugar. So I really don't want to give him too much sugar right now. So he likes plain yogurt anyway. So yeah, that's for him. This is lettuce. I got some chicken wings that I'm gonna, not the wings, sorry. It, it's a chicken um, leg that I'm gonna make this tonight. Not maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I got the broccoli, baby arugula. I want, I had this salad yesterday from Hudson House. Oh my God, guys, it was so good. And it was with cabbage. It was so good. So I was really, really want to create that salad at home. So I got the arugula and I got this red beet and cabbage. So this one I got. And I also look into the ingredients and it has the total sugar is one gram for like a whole jar. So I thought it's that bad. <laughs> I know like, you know, if you want to really look into your um, diet and you want to cut all the sugar out and it is hard and I'm not going that hard on myself. I just need to cut my calories and I know that I can do that and that's also already proven 
in my body type if I don't eat rice white rice or pasta bread um, then I can really lose my weight and I am not happy with my I'm not saying that um, you know everybody looks beautiful in different size I just feel like I'm not happy how I look right now and it's just me and I just want to live a healthy life and I want to be healthy for a spa also I got the Greek yogurt non-fat I just want to have this sometimes you know just to have like to eat that one and I got the balsamic fenugreek so that's all I got these are the groceries I got and I am so excited to start my um healthy eating journey and not health healthy eating i'm not like going to be like so picky on the weekend me and my husband like to go out and eat and i'm not gonna worry about that but on weekdays from monday to friday i'm trying to control myself my portion and what i put inside my body because i'm not very happy what i look and i have so many clothes that i can't even fit in i don't want to buy new clothes so i just want to start like you know eating healthy one thing i bought was rotisserie chicken that is like an you know, easy to put in a salad in or if you don't have any you can just make the cabbage and you have a chicken right there so i got all this grocery today uh, but right now my focus is more on my health and my weight losing journey so guys i will update you on my weight loss journey if you guys are interested then let me know like you know um if you want to see my cooking video i'm not a very good cook but i can share that with you guys and yeah that's all if you guys want to follow me on instagram then you can go back there and follow me there too i usually do a lot of videos and do my day-to-day -day life and yeah guys stay healthy happy and i'll see you in my next video i love you